Well, the list is probably pretty short of good things that came out of the pandemic and the lockdown. You got to spend more time with your family. Maybe you learned to enjoy the simpler things in life. And maybe you got to read some of those books that were collecting dust. Well, as I just found out from Republic Services, it also prompted people to do something good for our planet. When the world closed down during the coronavirus pandemic, many of us had our eyes opened up to something unexpected. How much trash we generate. As a lot of us change the way that we work and live, you know, spending a lot more time at home, uh, you know, that means eating in, uh, that means drinking at home, but it also means we're doing a lot of online shopping. E-commerce has been huge this past year. Uh, across the nation, we've seen well over a 60% increase in the amount of cardboard that's coming through our recycling streams. So there's a lot more that people are consuming. And I think that, that really just reaffirmed that, hey, we need to address what we're doing with our waste at home, what can we recycle, how can we improve our recycling habits. Republic Services conducted a study and found more than half of those polled were shocked to see the amount of waste generated just out of their own homes. We wanted to see how the pandemic has affected people's waste and recycling habits. And so the study showed that about 65 percent said that the pandemic was really a wake up call for how much trash that they were making. And that really spurred some sustainable shifts in their lifestyle. Not only did the study show that 65 percent called the pandemic a wake up call, 41 percent said they are now working harder to waste less and conserve more resources. And 30 percent are committing to being more careful with how they sort their recyclables. Company-wide, Republic Services processed 6 million tons of recyclables in 2020, a big jump from the previous year. Locally, Walters said that enormous increase was noted as well. If we look at our tonnage from last year, just 2020 alone versus 2019, about 15,000 ton increase year over year, and we can directly relate that to the pandemic. Of course, home waste increased because people were cooking, eating, and drinking more at home. So aluminum, glass, and plastic was up at recycling centers across the country. But when much of our retail world shut down, consumers chose shipping over shopping. The company saw a 63% increase in residential cardboard at recycling centers. But Walters does warn, not all shipping materials can be recycled. Unfortunately, the only thing from their online shopping experience that is truly recyclable is the cardboard box itself. Mm -hmm. um, we've all probably seen these or these down here. They are not recyclable. The machinery in most recycling centers is not capable of separating waste that is made up of mixed materials. We all learned to do things differently during the pandemic. Who knew one of those things would be learning how to trash our trash in a more sustainable manner? A quick reminder, most PPEs do not belong in the recycling bin. Those masks are one of those mixed material no-nos. And if you think about it, they're there to block germs. So we really don't want the recycling crew to have to come in contact with them. And the rubber gloves, they're too thin. They'll jam up the machinery. Best rule of thumb is if you're not sure, just throw it in the trash. When in doubt, throw it out.